Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is an updated video for the Microsoft Edge Chromium browser. I've had a lot of questions, people asking me what would be the uh, you know interesting side of you know why should I actually use Microsoft Edge Chromium over you know Google Chrome or any other browsers, which is of course a very good question. And of course also there are some questions about compatibility with uh, Google Chrome extensions so what we know is that first of all for those that are waiting for the possibility of Microsoft Edge Chromium to connect to Google services apparently the completed Edge Chromium will actually connect to Google services that would uh, that that is apparently something that's going to be so if you are connecting to Google services on Chrome apparently you'll be able on Edge Chromium you'll be able to use uh, Chrome extensions in Edge Chromium also. So you'll have available all the library of the Edge Chromium, of the Edge um, regular Google Chrome, sorry. Um, and of course, uh, a lot of other things. Um, versions are coming to pretty much every platform. And it was officially announced yesterday that Linux will have its Microsoft Edge Chromium version. Now, apart from that, because you might be saying, well, okay, with what you just said, Google Chrome and Edge Chromium is the same thing. Well, not really, because Microsoft really wants to give its own flavor to the browser. So the interface will be different. It will look a little more like the regular Edge that we've been using in Windows 10, a little less like the Google Chrome browser. It will actually have many features that, of course, Google Chrome won't have, uh, which are features to prevent tracking, and uh, there will be an ad blocker that will be within the Edge Chromium browser, apparently. So there'll be a lot of things that, of course, you don't have necessarily in Google Chrome, because Microsoft wants to try to push Microsoft Edge as a privacy-enhanced browser. So that probably is the number one reason why maybe you want to go there instead of you know um, using the... Um, Google Chrome browser. For the rest, it also uh, will and already has actually changed the face of Google Chrome because one of the things that they've been a lot talking about a lot is um, to basically have the Microsoft Edge um, browser. It's always been something that Microsoft pushed, the fact that battery life is much better in Microsoft Edge. So um, Edge Chromium, of course, will support better battery life also. Now, that impacted Google Chrome as even my, um, Google actually adopted some of the features that Edge Chromium was pushing for battery saving. And uh, that is one of the reasons why it's not a bad idea to have two companies working on the same project. For a lot of people out there, once again, uh, Chromium is an open source project. Um, a lot of people saying, well, you know, so that's Google Chrome. They're going to spy on us with Chrome and Microsoft. And no, it's an open source project. And you can modify the basics of the Chromium engine to do pretty much what they want. So um, it is dependent on whatever the company wants to do. And, you know, tracking is everywhere and um, it's not going to be different. But it will apparently be maybe less tracking and, you know, a little bit. I think they're pushing a little bit like um, Firefox is pushing right now. And the fact that they're uh, trying to make sure that you have less tracking on the browser and so on. So it's going to be interesting to see. But, uh, you know, January 15th, maybe not all versions, by the way, but the major versions will be, uh, you know, Windows version, Mac version. Apparently, uh, January 15th, 2020 is the uh, date. And for uh, those that were wondering and are actually on the uh, Microsoft Edge Insider right now, your uh, browsers will soon, maybe even today, uh, November 5th, have the new icon replacing the old icon of Edge. So uh, this is going to be kind of nice to see. But that's uh, pretty much what we know about Edge. And uh, hopefully, uh, I don't know, you know, will it be a browser that people are going to use? Will it change something to the fact that, well, you know, Microsoft Edge uh, browser isn't really used much? I don't know, but it's going to be interesting to see what uh, will uh, happen with this browser once it's coming out. And what will be the mar market share for Edge Chromium? Will it actually be able to take some part of the market share or not? Uh, that's, of course, going to be interesting to see also. 
you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.